Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Gina. I am working on my third day of 100 days of creating. I'm going to continue with the uh, texture paste. I apparently really like the stencil right now. So I'm just adding some leaves. I guess it's kind of continuing the page and kind of tying them quote unquote together. Kind of. Because they have this similar leaf print. And I have this uh, acrylic paint on the side and I'm just pasting it through the stencil. It doesn't feel like it's going to work. But I said I'd still try it. And yeah, I didn't like it. So I'm just going to scrape it to the side. And then I'm going to add some more of the brown acrylic paint from the paint marker over the top of it. What I had on the page before was the same acrylic marker. I, it was some excess paint and I just scraped it on to start my page and I saw that it wouldn't waste. So I just scraped that over the top. I like how it looks. I do. I'm thinking this is really a grungy journal, which I love. Love grunge. <laughs> so now I'm adding some lovely platters, which I always love. I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying the delicate way that people do it by just tapping it with their forefinger. But I, I get very impatient and I just tap it with my other hand because it's it doesn't do enough for me. It's like it's just not enough. So then I thought I would give the top a little border highlight and while I was doing it it made me think that it looks like a mountain so I just continued doing that and brought it down into the page instead of just leaving it at the top because I wanted to kind of highlight the tip of it you see how it, it's jagged and you know and I really thought hey this looks like a mountain let me turn it into an official mountain uh, obviously a scrappy one and then I was like, okay, so if that's the mountain, then the bottom part needs to be the ground. So I'm making that brown. And right, at this point, I realized that my page, that there was a page behind. I kind of forgot. <laughs> so I was like, oh no, I hope I didn't mess up my other page. So I'm just spraying that to help spread it and help it run. And, you know, just help it look a little natural. And I thought, okay, maybe this could be a kind of scrappy landscape. A messy landscape-ish thing. So I'm adding some more paint to the top. I hoped it was dry a bit. Trying to make it look mountain vibes. And I'm actually really enjoying this page today because it's just scrappy. And I'm not thinking too much. And the intention is not to make a perfect landscape. It's not to make a perfect page, but just to go with the flow and, you know, see what comes. So here now, I thought I'd add some Islamic writing to divide the top and bottom. So we have the white snowy mountains, which I've actually never seen in real life. And then we have the bottom, which is, you know, ground, earth, trees, I don't know. But then the pen I found was really light and very thin. So I thought I'd use my marker. This is the darkest blue paint marker that I have. So I thought I'd use that. I found it was too light still, but it was thick enough. So I left it. And then I thought, okay, let's add some blue splotches so that we'll have other blue on the page besides that blue. Because that blue is just like a splat in the middle of the page. And then I thought... Okay, the splatters are not enough, not big enough, so I'm adding some dots all over, but intermittently at the same time, which is cool. So I dried that, and now I want to add some more print of the same leaf that I put the texture paste in. So I'm just adding some of the same element, but in a different texture. But before I did that, I thought that it, it should get a horizon line so I have this paper here that I did some coffee Islamic writing with and I thought oh my gosh it looks like a continuation of the blue on top so I added it and then 
The only thing with this is that I find it's pretty fat. It's taking up like half the page and you know, you're just covering up everything. It's, I just found it was too much of covering too much of the page. And this is a piece of triangle bandage. I found that the material of it is really nice. I really like it. It's very thin and sheer and you know, it's very easy to thread. So I buy that from time to time and I would dye it as needed and use it. Love it. Triangle bandage. <laughs> So I decided to rip it. I'm trying to see which piece I'm going to use. Do I use the bottom piece that I took off or the top? Then I have this piece that I coffee dyed and I did some stitching on. And look at this side, it looks like mountain, right? That little, yeah, it looks so cool, but it, it didn't really fit. So I have found this stick. It's actually a skewer, wooden skewer. And I thought, okay, Maybe we could add some more because I felt like it needed a pop and the the paper with the sewing wasn't cutting it. So I said, okay, let's do the skewer. Maybe we could, and I really wanted to use this piece of fabric. So I'm trying it to see how it works. Then I thought the colors are too similar. So let's darken up the skewer, add some color to that and see how that works. And because I really wanted to use the fabric, I thought, okay, let's wrap it around. It's see-through, right? Transparent-ish. So we should be able to see the colored stick, but not really. We weren't re I wasn't really seeing it. So I thought, okay, let's just see. Take your time, Gino. Just look at it. And it uh, didn't really work. So I thought, okay, let's add some color to the fabric. See if that will help, if it will help make it pop, but in my opinion, it made it blend in to the page more. So, didn't like that. Was going to stick it down, and then I was like, no. Then I remembered I wanted to add my stenciling, but in a different texture. So I said, okay, let's do that, and then we'll come back to that with fresh eyes. I realized that I didn't like it, so I'm going to put it back at the bottom of the paper. And I officially decided to use that there and stick it down. And I thought that the paper was too long. It just felt like too much, so I just tore off a piece of the corner and then I ripped parts of the edges the top just kind of folded it down for it to look really you know jagged and used and abused <laughs> and I have this stick there it's still wrapped it's like okay wait I think we need something else this stick is not cutting it it's not enough so I have these wooden sheaves that came in a pack and I just put them in some containers and I use some of them as stamps and, well, obviously some of them as focal points. So I'm just trying to decide which one to use. And I chose the butterfly. And I thought this looked much better. And then it was too long, so I just broke it and I was like, yes, this is what we want. This is it. After I stuck this down, I was thinking I should have used a glue gun. 
it would have been a lot quicker but if i used the glue gun after it would have taken too long because i'd have had to wait for it to heat up and so it's okay so i stuck that down after i put a nice little border and i just put a little body in the middle i just you know gave it a little body And now I'm going to put my number three stamp. I could not find my stamp pad, so I'm just going to use the paint and stamp number three with the same brown. So it actually kind of fades in, yeah. When I look at it, I can't, I could kind of not find it, but that's okay. So this is my page. I'm giving you a moving close up so you can see all the elements and how, you know, all the textures. Let me know what you think. I tell, let me know how your days are going, what you've been doing. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much as always for watching and I'm looking forward to your comments. Bye!